Hello folks, hope you're all doing well. Can you believe it? It's almost 2022, so I thought it's best I got on with a What Seeds to Sow in January video now, but there's, there's quite a few actually. I've got seven different ones here. So when I was looking through my seeds and sort of planning what to grow over the next next month and get things started, I was a bit surprised there was that many, but some of them are a bit, a bit samey, so there's a, there's a different variety of the same types of seed. But I'll go through them each one by one and tell you what we're going to grow. So first up is onions, and it's onions from seed, not from sets. Now, there is a sort of a, a tradition in amongst gardeners that says you should plant your onion seeds on Boxing Day. We're a little bit colder up here in Scotland, so I usually leave it another couple of weeks after that before I start mine off. But I've got two different types here. I've got these ones here, which are Bedfordshire Champion. Again, they're, they're from DT Brown, our favourite seed supplier. Don't pay us anything like that. It's just a, a recommendation from me is that I get good seeds from them. So that's a good... A good standard onion, they go really well, go to a nice size, and now's the time to get them in because growing onions from seed takes a lot longer from set. I've got some here that I've not tried before, and this is a, a red onion, and you'll have to excuse my pronunciation for this one, and it's Rosa da Inverno Cel Rubino. There we go. And if you hear any strange noises from behind me, the cat's just coming from the cat flap and I think he's going to start eating his lunch. That's what that crunchy noise is behind me. So I'm going to give those a shot this year. It's a more sort of ready purpley coloured onion and we'll see what they're like as well. But now is the time to get onions planted from seed. It takes a lot longer to grow from set. I mean, by all means, I, I've got ones up at the allotment now. Growing from set, it is so much easier to grow from set. There's not a great difference in price, but I just want to do some from seed just because. Move it, well, kind of on the same sort of theme as the onions are shallots. And these are a type called the broom. Now these were difficult to get a hold of last year. Or this year, because it's still 2021 when I'm filming. So I bought these early so that they don't go out of stock. And these are a big, what you call a banana shallot. So they grow quite sort of big and long like that. And these are really, really, they're a great tasting shot and they grow to a great size. So I highly, highly recommend these. And if you want to get some seeds, get some now because they'll disappear pretty quickly. But again, just like the onions, now is the time to get them on the go from seed. But again, you want to grow them from shallot sets, by all means, crack on and do that as well. Two types of leek I'm going to be getting on the go. This one here is called the Leon Prize Taker. I think I tried these last year and they turned out pretty good. So I'm going to give them another bash. I'm assuming these are the ones I grew last year because the packet's open. But we'll give, we'll give them another shot. And these are, other ones are Leek Blue de Soleil. And I think, yeah, the packet's open. These, I've actually got some of these grown at the plot at the moment. So they've been overwintering and they're doing pretty well over winter. But I'm going to put another round in now because I've got some beds up there that need some things in them. Get another round of them in and we'll get them on the go as well. Finally, now's the time to get your chilli plants on the go. I was late this year and get mine on the grow, on, on the grow, on the go, on the grow. I guess it means the same thing. And the, the, the fruited really late. I mean, I got a decent amount of chilies off them, but it was really late in the season when they fruited. So I'm starting these off a lot earlier. So the first one I've got here is one called Habanero Big Sun. That's a nice big sort of orangey coloured chilli pepper and the other one here is one I did like this year as well it's called chocolate doula and that's a, 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 a grey browny sort of coloured chocolate uh, chocolate chilli and it's got a really a really sort of smoky taste about it a really really nice one so I'm going to go those ones again you see they're open so I use them again but they're absolutely fab and the thing to remember with chilies is they've got quite a high temperature needed for germination so they need to be at around about 20 degrees centigrade now i'm very lucky that i've got a heated propagator and these will absolutely be going in that to get them started and as soon as they've, they've germinated and they're, they're tiny little plants they'll be getting moved on to try and stop them from dampening off in the little propagator tubs but i'll put a, i'll put a link down below to some of these seeds that i'm using and the heated propagator as well if anybody fancies getting one of them they're absolutely brilliant for getting seeds started and I say really 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 good for things like chilies where you need that 20 degrees to get them going. Anyway that's me done for today that is the selection of seeds for this month so say it's about seven or eight there to be getting on with I was quite surprised there was that many 
But as we move into February, March and April, that number of seeds is going to go rocketing up ready for the springtime. So that's me done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now, folks.